I just got the air force. I was going to beat the shit out of him. I learned my trick when I was on the side. I beat the shit out of him. That's it. So George Cambosis and Shakur Stevenson have been going back and forth. Shakur Stevenson was at George Cambosis' fight against Maxi Hughes. Um, a lot of people feel that Maxi Hughes won that fight. And George Cambosis received a massive, massive early, early Christmas present against Maxi Hughes. And Shakur Stevenson was in the building. And he, of course, he was. Wow. Okay. We could talk to Bob, we'll make it happen, right? We'll talk to Bob, we'll make it happen. Look like they was about to, you know, go for the fight with Shakur Stevenson. But I mean, you could look at his face and tell George Cambosis really didn't want to smoke, bro. He was smiling and cheesing, you know. Ah, <sighs> boy, boy, boy. But as you can see here, Shakur Stevenson still be battling on social media. You know, um, what's what's happening? Let me tell you guys what's happening right now. Right, let me tell you guys what's happening right now. Shakur Stevenson, as great as a fighter as he is, young fighter as he is, um, he's not in the fit in a favorable position when it comes to a lot of these boxing fans right now. Maybe it's because he's pressing their favorite fighters. Uh, maybe it's because he's associated with top rank Bob Arum. Maybe it's something to do with him being associated with Terrence Crawford. Whatever the case may be, Shakur Stevenson isn't on the positive side of seemingly a majority of boxing fans. But you go on his social media, he's been going back and forth with George Cambosis all day. Now, George Cambosis was trolling, you know, right? But let me tell you what this is. This is just the politics running his course. They, 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 a lot of these dudes probably feel they can't beat Shakur in the ring. So what they got to do and what they're going to do, and they're going to use the bozo ass boxing fans as help to do it, is they're going to use the politics of boxing to beat Shakur Stevens. But you can see here, it says, man, who you fighting? Art man. He he, that's my that's a little homie right there. But he be hating on Shakur, and he says with dude moving up, and when he said with dude, he talking about little dude Devin, right? This is what he call him, dude. Now he don't even call him Devin no more. He call him dude. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up, man. Y'all was boys, man. What happened? But he says with dude moving up, the fight that makes the most sense is me versus Loma. Since everybody say I just talk a lot, I'm hype job and overrated. Uh, Shakur should let that shit bother him, bro. He really, really shouldn't let the the, the nonsense from knucklehead cowardly boxing fans um deter him and, and and sway how he feels about shit you know but he's a young guy he's gonna have to live and learn through that well, really like i said man it's just the politics boxing you know Shakur, we seen Shakur is trying to make the fight with devin devin said take the 25 it was just, he said man i ain't taking no 25 bro when i can get 35 if i become the mandatory you know what i'm saying he tried to become the mandatory wc enforced it devin said oh shit what do i do now okay let me try to get an extension they granted him an extension so yeah devin had a deadline um, this past Friday to make a choice between fighting uh, Regis Prograde and Shakur Stevenson. He chose the route of Regis Prograde is looking like. So, yeah. Um, <sighs> I can't complain with that fight. That's a great fight. Regis Prograde, Devin Haney is a great fight. Um, but yeah, they're using the politics to beat Shakur, bro. They're using the politics of boxing to beat Shakur. These two guys going back and forth, right? As you can see, this guy already put it together, so that's cool. I ain't got to go on any pages and stuff. Salute to this guy here. Loaded Punch. I used to hate Twitter, man. I really did, but Twitter's kind of Twitter's kind of dope, man. Twitter's kind of dope. It says, because nobody want to see Loma stop you. See, this is what you know. Shakur said. Cambosis is hoping for a Lomachenko showdown. It's a politics, bro. This is why he got the decision against Maxi Hughes because he's still a draw in Australia. Australia pays a lot of people money. They got pay-per-view rights and all this stuff over there. So, yeah, they're trying to keep the Cambosis as relevant as possible. And Cambosis, he's going to sit here and he's going to talk his trash and, and try to do whatever it takes to stay relevant. Even though watching him fight, you know, we know that George Cambosis isn't, you know. So, he going to have to do what he got to do. And talk, going back and forth for Shakur is what he's doing. He says, cuz, so go take the 25%. What's wrong with you? What are you trying to do? Trying to do I already done, right? Dan Scorch says, and your booty ass need to run it back with Maxi Hughes because he really smoked you for real, for real. You are the worst undisputed champion of all time. Then he said, there's only been a handful of us anyways. So that's cool. 
So um, some unbelievable fighters on that list. Too bad you'll never be a part of that list because you won't take the 25 percent for the opportunity. Shit, I would have fought Tia for free for the opportunity. What's wrong with you, cuz? Wow. It's George. George Campos is hilarious, bro. This dude is hilarious, bro. <laughs> And then he eventually comes out and says he was trolling the whole time. He was in the lines at um, Disney World or whatever. He was in the lines at Disney World and Shakur helped him kill some time, bro. So ferocious George Cambosis is staying relevant via social media and really just getting a Loma Chico fight. He says, I be roasting back tweets from Disneyland while waiting in this big ass lines. For real, for real, cuz. I didn't open a can of worms. But thanks, cuz kept me occupied in the lines. If only lines were 25% shorter, I wouldn't have any time. Hey, George Campos is, is funny as hell, bro. He is trolling. He know he lost that fight for real. But George just said, you know what? I make I'm gonna make some lot of money. I know my time, my, my time as a top fighter is short, so I'm gonna make the best of it. I'm gonna make the absolute best of it. I'm in Disney World trolling Shakur Stevenson on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? So that's what George Cambo is doing, man. A lot of people mad at George Cambo. They call him scambosis and, and everything else. But this is kind of what you want. You want people just to pay attention to you. This is just what you want, whether it's good or bad. You know, it, unfortunately, that's what it's got to be. For guys like Shakur Stevenson, it's not, not a lot of positive press with Shakur right now. A lot of people think Shakur is capping and not really looking to fight and stuff like that. I don't see that when I see Shakur Stevenson. I see a dude this, this. Yeah, I see a dude that's super, super, super sharp and super ready. You know what I'm saying? And, and really looking for the smoke with some of the best guys. Now, when he fight guys like De La Santos or Ortiz, I think that's that may be who he has to fight. If Lomachenko goes one way, if Devin goes another way, you know, Cambos is going down there, you know. So, yeah, this is what's going on right now. I think the politics of boxing is running its course on Shakur Stevenson. And this is something he's going to have to deal with until you know things things turn the tide turns in his favor again you know it was looking like it was turning in his favor for a minute but you know Devin Haney got the extension and you know maybe Devin ain't the body, ready maybe Devin ain't ready maybe he don't feel confident at 135 fighting Shakur maybe they want it maybe Devin just wants it later Shakur wants it now because he wants those belts but whatever the case man um George Cambosis Shakur Stevens going back and forth on Twitter I say the politics of boxing is running this course. And we're going to probably continue to see this. It's probably going to intensify as the months go by. Like, subscribe, hodge your boy. Peace out.